Hello friends, it's Julie and today we're going to do our wet sole video for the last couple months at least. I'm sharing today with you some of my favorite postcards that I've sold and then we're going to go from the least to the greatest um, that, that they sold for. Um, and this is since uh, January 1st, so the year to date favorite ones of myself. We get to little, know a little bit more about what I like and why I sell what I do. The first one is sold on hip postcards and this one is the Song of the Lark, Woman with a Sigh. And the reason why I really like this one is that I re read, ugh, excuse me, I read the book Song of the Lark by Willa Cather and it really resonated with me. The next one is a Continental Chrome of Our Lady of the Rockies in Butte, Montana, and this is a statue that overlooks Butte, and this one went for $5.97. I like it just because it's a great symbol, um, and just this hard um, mining town, I can't speak, I guess, mining town, so I think it's pretty cool. Then I have an old um, Christmas postcard, this one went for $5.97. Uh, it's nothing and it really any special, but I just like the way it looks. It's just a cute little kids looking in a window, so that's five ninety seven. And we have a photo. Uh, this one is just a couple, uh, just looking at Life magazine. Well, there's another couple on the cover, so I just liked the composition of that. Seven ninety seven. Here is Amtrak's builder uh, trains, and this is Brownie, Montana. And the reason why I like this one is these clouds here I look just like the clouds I can see uh, very often over the ranch that I live in. So that just, to me, it just appealed aesthetically. It's just very true to the area. Except in 97. Here's a photo of two girls riding a horse on, a double on a ranch. And this one, um, just again, I love the Old West. I live out here. And I just, the girls riding bareback appealed to somebody else too, because this one sold rather quickly. I also have above here how long it took for them to sell. And this one was um, February 26th, so that was actually pretty quick, Seven ninety seven. I probably undersold the price, but then again, you know, there's that fine line. Do you want to have all of these things sitting on your shelf uh, or your inventory forever, or do you want to just get the money for it? and maybe it's just a couple dollars less. There's just that, what would you do? This one is another Chris one. Christmas. Ugh, Christmas, not Chris one. Gosh. Mother and Mary, and this is just a gorgeous card. It had this wonderful gilt edge around it, and um, look at those little details on it. I thought this was just so pretty. And you can tell that, yes, I do like pretty postcards. I uh, just, this is, not much written on the back, but it just was gorgeous. And that went for $8.97. And it had been in my shop since March of last year. This is another photograph. There's actually quite a few photographs in this collection. And this is a Daisy Geyser eruption in Yellowstone in 1935. Again, in the West. And I just, and it's just a snapshot of somebody's trip uh, to Yellowstone. And it went for $8.97 another real photo postcard, or is this the first real photo postcard, but another photo in a way. It's a pretty girl standing on a rug. This has been in the shop since August 2022, so it took a while to sell, but I look at her hair and her bows, and she looks like she's got a little wreath in her hair. Um, look at this beautiful lace, just all these little details, and that went for $8.97. Another real photo postcard. Now I can say another. And this one is Union Pacific Railroad Station in Billings, Montana. This is building is still there. I believe it is, uh, this one is a museum or something. I don't know. I shouldn't make things up. But I don't remember exactly because right now I obviously have brain fog and, and trouble speaking. Autoimmune issues. Fun times. 997. Another photo. Real photo, po photo postcard. <laughs> you can just watch this and laugh and be glad you don't have my brain and my yeah anyways okay twin boys roger and rodney three years old in 1928 isn't that adorable i just look at those haircuts it's like the bowl cut cut and they're in their little sailor suits or something i i hope this one will someday make it back to the family if it already you know maybe it already did i like this one because it's just eye-catching. And this is a, an art postcard, Continental Chrome, Frank Stella. 
And I have been, I have joined recently a Facebook group of Gen X women. So I'm got, having all this nostalgia going on in my head. And uh, this is very, to me, this looks very 80s-ish, Gen X. What generation are you? I'd like to know that because we have so many different ones in the postcard world. Okay, another photo. This one is in Montana. It does have the Montana license plate right there, an early one. And you have the mom and the child. And I don't know what the mom is doing there in the back. And what is she holding? Anyways, um, and look at this. It's got a little strip of fabric. It looks like, oh, 4th of July, maybe Stars and Stripes. Maybe she's decorating the car. And I don't remember what exactly offer I accepted, but I'm just keeping it at in the 1197 category. Yeah, I showed you this one before. A couple of these are repeats, but uh, just a real photo postcard in Czechoslovakia of these sheep. I know I could keep all the sheep postcards, but I got to share, share them. And I got 1197 for it, so then I can buy another one for myself, right? This one I believe I did undersell for the price, but it was a very small post a postcard. <laughs> <sighs> very small photo. I'm almost tempted to re-record this, but you know, you get me how I am and you can see the reality and not just on my good days. I thought I was having a good day, but apparently not. Um, Cowboy and the Horse by Lake, and I did put an iconic old western view, and it is. It's just like you have this cowboy with his horse along the side of a stream, probably in the mountains. So that went for eleven ninety seven. It could almost be like your uh, logo or a feature photo somewhere. This one is Native American teepees. There's no the two spellings because they are spelled differently in 1941 in St. Ignatius. And this one was, uh, I liked because of those postcard series that I had gotten from the nuns and, and such uh, of the St. Ignatius mission. So it's possible this was taken at the same time. Should I have kept it? Maybe, but now it's on to somebody else. And I got 1797 for it. Uh, this one kind of just makes me giggle because look at his, his expression. I mean, it's like, is he happy he's holding this, this tuba? Or is he just like, he's really serious, like I am the tuba player. Uh, real photo postcard. And I did have to do some Googling on what kind of instrument is this. And right away, Google Lens said it was tuba, but a lot of the tubas didn't have, had them go, this the bell go straight out. And this one, oh, here quit doing that. I just want to do my cursor. Okay, anyways, the bell here is usually straight, so I ha I found out that's a front bell. I don't know if I helped to sell it, but it did sell rather quickly, so it went for $19.97. The next one we have is uh, Moosehead Ranch in Elko, Wyoming. I love to see pictures of these old ranchers and what they, the cowboys and stuff, what they wore, their horses, um, how their outfits were. Outfits meaning uh, not what they're wearing, like clothing. And there's even a couple women, and I don't think I noted that. That that would have been a good thing. So that went for 1997, and it did have a, a postmark on the back that said Elk, Wyoming as well. Three left. Okay, this one I mentioned to you before, and this was a box of vintage ephemera. And when I was filling the box, I would take a picture um, so they could see the layers. I don't think I took a picture of everything. But I always start these boxes off at $50, and then I reduce the price until they sell at about $27. It's kind of interesting that, that they, they sell for that price. So that was nice to get rid of a bunch of stuff that I didn't really want to list individually. And it's out of my office because I am trying to declutter. Okay, the last two are postcard, real photo postcards that I put up in auction, and I think I showed you briefly in a declutter video. This one is a quilt, uh, art, well, it's a real photo postcard of a family with a quilt. I saw this at the antique store that I have my booth at, and the reason why it caught my eye was because of this quilt. I hadn't seen very many postcards with quilts in them. And I used to have a quilting business. I, I used to do a lot of things. I have more ideas and it's good for a person. And so I recognized the value of that because uh, I know that museums and quilt people, textile people love to see these old images of quilts. It's not an outstanding um, example, but it is an example. And so I looked up the comps and I decided that, well, there, there were actually quite a few recent active auctions for photo postcards with quilts on them. So I put it up at auction and it went for $66, which I think is pretty good for only spending a dollar on it. And then the other special thing about this postcard is it did have names on it. And also it had this wonderful little prayer 
on the back. Um, may the good Lord that made something, uh, I, don't know, I think I transcribed it, but it's just, it's basically a blessing on this house. And it's just like, it's just so sweet. You have the, the um, old fashioned quilt and the prayer. And I thought, I think that those combined together help to gather interest. Could I have listed it by now for more? Maybe, but I bought it for a dollar. It sold within a week, and now I can go buy more, more postcards. Okay, the last one is, you guessed it, it's uh, the um, college guys with the skeleton playing piano. I did, I was really tempted to keep this one, but why? Why should I keep it? I, I don't need it. So uh, I had posted this on uh, one of the Facebook groups about identifying um, because I just wanted to get some other ideas of, am I seeing this right? Um, are these college boys, you know, it, and I got a lot of laughs because people liked the image. It was just really cute, um, very fun postcard because they obviously are not getting piano music because um, but they all are singing and this guy the page turner looks so serious watching the conductor and look at the details of the skeleton sitting on this, his stand and he even has the foot on the pedal of of the piano but they did confirm yes this looks like college because somebody said that the wording i don't know how they they saw it back here looks like it could be medical words or latin or something it just looks like an old college um classroom or something and then one person posted just this one one thing 100 f and i was like what is that people like to be a little cryptic right now sometimes when they they know something so i looked it up and it was odd fellows um, there's a fraternity group called Odd Fellows, and they are known for having skeletons. They do form their um, memberships a lot of times in college, and a lot of times when they they uncover the lodges or the houses that where an Odd Fellow member was, they find skeletons. Um, they sometimes have found skeletons of real people, and sometimes they find skeletons that are just are they not? So. I did put that in the title, but I didn't say it was. I just put odd fellows in in um, lowercase, not to say this is definitely odd fellows, but, but you could also take it as these guys are odd fellows too. So I think it could be taken both ways. I didn't promise they were. And of course, you can't, this is all that was on the card. There's nothing written on the back. So there's nothing to say. This definitely is. So I put that up at seven day auction because I didn't know, I hadn't seen anything else like this. And I was hoping, you know, that it would get at least 50, 60 bucks. And it got $110.50. Um, it didn't get bid up at the last minute. I was a little disappointed, but because I was watching it at the time and I was recording it on my phone and I, I was thinking if it, it jumps up, I can share it with you guys, but it didn't. But it's okay. I'm happy with this because I paid a dollar for it. Sold within a week for $110 and it's already shipped and paid for. So those are my favorite postcards to date of 2024. I'd love to hear if you have some favorite postcards or ephemera, um, some things that you sold that you really liked. And thanks for watching. Have a joyful day. Goodbye.